Hello and welcome. <clears throat> My name is Alan. And yes, I have been out for a while, but we're getting things back on track. It took me... I was doing a number of things, essentially, this week, so apologize for being gone for a week. Anyway, we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today, we are looking at Representative Eric Swalwell, who is the representative for the 14th District of California. And that district is just south east of San Francisco itself and encompasses Livermore and Fremont. Now, he is a Democrat, and before he took office, he was preceded in office by Pete Stark, who he replaced through redistricting. Now, let's go ahead and look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Sac City, Iowa on November the 16th, 1980. Graduated from Dublin High School in Dublin, California in 1999. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Maryland, College Park, Maryland in 2003. Earned a J.D. from the University of Maryland School of Law in Baltimore, Maryland in 2006. Was the Alameda County, California prosecutor. The Alameda County, California deputy district attorney 2006 to 2012. Member of the Dublin, California City Council 2010 to 2012 before being elected as the Democrat to the 113th and five following Congresses. So yeah, he is in term six, year 12. Um, but yeah, he's, he's been in the U.S. Congress for a while already what was it, 10 years or 10 terms? Ba, 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 da, ba. Where was that? 2013? So 10 years? 11 years? Now going on 12? Alright. So, yeah. 12 years. He's, what, 43? Means he started at age 32, 31. I think you have to be at least 25 to be in the U.S. House of Representatives, so... Goodness, he started early. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. Okay, I forgot to pull it all the way down. It has been a while, I told you. I'm off on a number of things here. Committees. Uh, bu 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 accountability. Okay. He is on the Committee on Homeland Security, of which he is on the Subcommittee on Counterterrorism, Law Enforcement, and Intelligence, and the Subcommittee on Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Protection. He is on the Committee on the Judiciary, of which he's on the Subcommittee on Immigration Integrity, Security, and Enforcement. He is on the Subcommittee on Responsiveness, Responsiveness and Accountability to Oversight, of which he is a ranking member, 
he's on the and he's on the subcommittee on the administrative state regulatory reform and antitrust now let's go ahead and look at his top five industry donors over his career at the top we have lawyers and law firms who all together have donated one million five hundred and ninety four thousand four hundred and twenty seven dollars Next is retired, who have donated one million one hundred and fifty two thousand three hundred and eighty seven dollars. Next is real estate, who have donated one million eighty two thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars. Next is securities and investment, who have donated seven hundred and fifty eight thousand nine hundred and seventy two dollars. And fifth is health professionals who have donated six hundred and thirty eight thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars now let's go ahead and take a look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career <clears throat> excuse me at the top, number one, we have McKinsey Capital Management. And they operate as a real estate investment management company that provides real estate securities and asset management services and serve customers in the United States. Um... They are based in Orinda, California. Altogether, they have donated $116,035. And once again, that's McKinsey Capital Management. Next, at number two, we have the Law Offices of Jeremy D. Weinstein and it is a law office based in Walnut Creek, California that uh, works in the um, areas of law that are secured lending, workouts, bankruptcy, corporate and commercial finance, climate change, financial and commodity derivatives, renewable resources, project development, and securities. Altogether, they have donated $71,000. And once again, that's the law offices of Jeremy D. Weinstein. Next, at number three, we have PG&E Corporation, their full name being the Pacific Gas and Electric Company. They are an American investor-owned utility that is headquartered in Oakland, California. They provide natural gas and electricity to 5.2 million households in the northern two-thirds of California, from Bakersfield to the northern Santa Barbara County, almost to the Oregon and Nevada state lines. Overseen by the California Public Utilities Commission, PG&E is a leading subsidiary of the holding company PG&E Corporation, which has a market capitalization of $36.33 billion, as of February 23rd, 2024, PG&E was established on October the 10th, 1905 from the merger and consolidation of predecessor utility companies and by 1984 was the U.S.'s largest electric utility business. PG&E is one of six regulated, regulated investor-owned electric utilities in California, the other five being Pacific Corp, Southern California Edison, San Diego Gas and Electric, Bear Valley Electric, and Liberty Utilities. <clears throat> Altogether, they have donated 
$69,805. And once again, that's PG&E Corporation. Next, at number four, we have Another Planet in Entertainment, an independent concert production and artist management company based in Berkeley, California that was founded in 2003 by former Bill Graham Presents executives Greg Perloff, Sherry Wasserman, and Steve Welkhorn. The company is noted for changing the landscape of live music in San Francisco and its neighboring hubs while staying faithful to the area's musical roots and following in the footsteps of industry icon Bill Graham. In addition to promoting and producing concerts and events at historically significant Bay Area venues such as the Greek Theater, the Fox Oakland Theater, the Castro Theater, another Planet Entertainment co-founded and co-produces the Outside Lands Music and Arts Festival. The company also produces San Francisco's Breakaway Festival and co-produces the Life is Beautiful Festival. Altogether, they have donated 69 thousand dollars and once again that's another planet entertainment finally in fifth we have tut 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 meta also known as meta platforms they are an american multinational technology conglomerate based in menlo park California. The company owns and operates Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and WhatsApp, among other products and services. It ranks among the largest American information technology companies, alongside other big five corporations, Alphabet, the owner of Google, Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft. The company was ranked number 31 on the Forbes Global 2000 ranking of 2023. In 2022, Meta was the company with the third largest expenditure on research and development worldwide, with R&D expenditure amounting to $35.3 billion U.S. Meta has also acquired Oculus, which is integrated into Reality Labs. Mapillary, Control Labs, and a 9.99% stake in Geo Platforms. The company additionally endeavored into non-VR hardware, such as the discontinued Meta Portal Smart Displays line, and presently partners with Lux Autica through the Ray-Ban Story series of smart glasses. Despite endeavors in the hardware, the company relies on advertising for a vast majority of its revenue, amounting to 97.8% in 2023. Parent company Facebook Incorporated rebranded as Meta Platforms Incorporated on, August, er, on October the 28th, 2021 to reflect its focus on rebuilding the metaverse, an integrated environment linking the company's products and services. Altogether, it has donated $66,551, and once again, that's Meta. Now, I, let's take a glance at all their donors. Industry-wise first, lawyers and law firms, eh, retired, absolutely wonderful. Real estate, eh, securities and investment, ooh. Health professionals, eh, okay. Individually. McKinsey Capital Management, uh, Law Offices of Jeremy D. Weinstein, uh, 
PG&E Corporation. Another Planet Entertainment. Okay. Fine. Uh, Meta. Ooh. But, this has been a look at Representative Eric Swalwell, who is the representative for the 14th District of California. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later. Thank <laughs> you.